kettlebell lunges. So once you learn how to do body lunges, you can then progress to holding kettlebells, which makes the exercise more challenging but adding more resistance. So to start with, when you're holding the kettlebell, it's important that you don't let it crush your chest. So you want to engage the upper back and the abs and just hold it out ahead of you. You don't now want to just start leaning back because you're going to feel this in your lower back before you start now that you've got a weight in front of your body. When you're holding two kettlebells, it's called a rack position. You want to start with your fists together and wrist straight. You don't want your wrists bent like this. So you want to keep them fists together, elbows in towards the side. This will strengthen up your upper back as well as your core. Again, a few errors we see with this is elbows out like a funky chicken. We don't want them out there. We want them tucked in towards the side like this. Fists together. Again, elbows not out. We want them touching. Elbows down. So we'll start with a kettlebell forward lunge. This exercise will target all your leg muscles and it's the most basic lunge variation that you should be able to master before you start moving on to more advanced lunges. So you want to take a nice stride forward, you want to lower that knee down towards the floor, you want to make sure that you're pushing through the front heel and you want to just make sure that you've got good coordination and good balance throughout to keep the exercise nice and controlled. These will hit your glutes hard, they'll also hit your quads as well. And that is how you do forward lunge. The second variation, the second variation we're going to look at is the kettlebell reverse lunge. So this is where you're lunging but you're going to be going backwards. Even though you're reverse lunging and you're doing your lunge backwards, you want to make sure that you're keeping all the weight through the front leg. A lot of people take too much of a stride backwards, lose balance and coordination. Uh, and if you're doing that, then you're not keeping all the weight through the front leg. So the front knee still goes forward as you take a stride backwards. This will get you a good stretch on the back leg. It's also going to hit the glutes and the quads a little bit harder. So the next variation we're going to look at is the kettlebell crossover lunge. So this is like a reverse lunge, except you're going to reverse lunge, but you're going to cross over slightly more to one side. So a bit like a curtsy lunge. This is going to test your balance a lot more than the reverse and the forward lunges. If you're going too far over, then yes, you're going to lose balance. So to start with, we just want to just ease yourself into the movement, still lowering the knee as far down as you can, but just take your time. The curtsy lunges will hit your glutes, um, as well as all the other leg muscles that may be glutes. This exercise is the kettlebell forward into reverse lunge. So this one's really going to get your heart rate going. And it's a double whammy, doing the forward lunge and then the reverse lunge. If you struggle um, with the coordination and the movement of this, you can just kiss the floor in the middle. Once you build it up, you can get rid of the step in the middle and you can literally just go from one to the other. So forward lunge, pushing through the front leg, and then all the way down to reverse lunge. This is a real burner for the legs. And like I say, it's gonna really get your heart rate going. Here we're looking now at the rack position. So this is where you've got your two kettlebells in front of you and you're doing the reverse lunges. So the same muscles are gonna be targeted with this as it were a reverse lunge. So now you've got two kettlebells in front of you. It's gonna make it more challenging for your core and your upper back. So it's gonna make it a lot harder. Here we have the kettlebell rack walking lunges. So again, kettlebells out in front of you into that rack position. So at this time, you're not doing forward lunges on the spot. You're going to do these walking so if you've got a large garden living room or at the gym or any space outside these are perfect these will really help get nice big strides hit the hamstrings as well as the glutes this is the kettlebell offset lunge this is where you've got one arm straight by side and one arm in a wrap position this is going to test your core a lot more you can also experiment by having slightly heavier one heavier one lighter kettlebell but we recommend to start with having the same weight Obviously, once you've done one side, you'll then have to swap. So just take your time with this exercise, start nice and light, and then build it up. This is gonna work your legs, obviously, but like I already mentioned, it's gonna work your core as well. Here we have the double kettlebell walking lunge. So again, these are similar to the walking lunges, except this time, your kettlebells are gonna be by your side. This is gonna challenge your grip strength as well as your lower body muscles. So holding the kettlebells in different positions, just make the exercise more challenging in different ways, target the leg muscles slightly different, and it gives your lunges a bit more variety. 